Hi, my name is Megan Worley, and I am a graphics software engineer for the Intel Graphics Performance Analyzers team. We develop a suite of profiling tools that help game developers optimize their games for Intel hardware. So we're here today showing off our support for DirectX 12. Um, if you look at our tool here, there's a few things you can see. In the UI on the left, we have here the API calls captured during um, a frame capture of the game Dreadnought. Up top, you can see all of our API calls ordered by command list, which are batches of draw calls and other calls that have the um, implication of taking a significant amount of time on the GPU. You can see that they are graphed by GPU duration. On the right here, you have our metrics panel, which can give you really useful information about um, where things are taking time on your Intel GPU. And in the middle here, you can see our inputs to our graphics pipeline, so our geometry our textures, and you can also view the graphics pipeline state, such as blend state and depth stencil. You can see vertex and pixel shaders, and you can see the render targets that we're outputting to. I'll walk you through an example of what it's like to try to optimize um, a part of a workload. So here you see everything grouped by command list. You can see that you know this command list is taking up a reasonable amount of time. We can decompose this command list and see the individual calls that are within it. So let's just check out one of these calls here. So we can see here that they're rendering this piece of geometry to all of these render targets. So one cool thing about our tool is it allows you to perform experiments in real time on the GPU to see what kind of performance benefits you could get back by for example, substituting a, a pixel shader with a really simple pixel shader. So let's see what happens here whenever we turn on simple pixel shader. We see that the bar here dropped pretty significantly for the straw call. So that gives us a hint that maybe we're actually doing quite a bit of work in our pixel shader. So we can go over here. And we have our pixel shader turned on here. And we can view the Microsoft assembly code. Now here we see the disassembly because the app decided to pre-compile their shaders. If the app compiled their shaders in real time, then we would actually see the HLSL code for it. But we can kind of browse through, kind of get an idea of what the app is doing. We can see that they're taking up, they're actually performing quite a few instructions here on the GPU. So that gives us an idea that, you know, since they're doing a ton of work, maybe we can, this is a good place to start for optimizing the straw call. Thank you for watching. For more information, go to software.intel.com forward slash GPA.